is happening everybody? Welcome back to another video and I thought, you know what? I I've never done, never done a Nickelback video and uh, because Nickelback gets a lot of hate, but I love Nickelback. That's not why I haven't done one. But um, I was just thinking, I was like, man, you know, Nickelback has killer riffs. If you guys would like tabs for these riffs, you can grab those down below in the description. Uh, if you're not digging Nickelback riffs and you want to check out my free guitar course that has nothing to do with Nickelback, it is right there as well. I'm not sure why I was Kamehameha-ing that, but, you know, it happens sometimes. So, I always feel like nowadays, especially, Nickelback gets a lot of unnecessary hate. I think that they, um, they write great songs, their tones, and sonically, it just sounds amazing. You know, they have an incredible sound. And, uh, you know what? I'm just like, I I'm happy that we even get to have a band like Nickelback nowadays, because I just got done listening to the radio, and the amount of auto-tune that was on that person's voice, I don't even know if it was a person anymore. Like, I think it was just a computer singing. I don't know. So, um, I'm happy that we have Nickelback and that they sound, you know, just as good live as they do on the album. So, let's go and get to the riffs. <laughs> All right, so the first riff is Bottoms Up. Now, I'm, I'm gonna kind of break these down a little bit. They're, they're not very complicated riffs, they're just good old rock riffs. And it, it's all in drop D. And it basically starts up here. So you're doing a drop D style power chord. So 12 on the A, and I'm sorry, the low E, the A, and the D. Then you go to 10, the back 12. So 12, 10, 12. And you go open, top three strings. I'm hitting another low E string there. Then you have this little uh, chord here, basically like a, what is this, a G? No, no, that'd be an F. So we're gonna go uh, eight on the A string and then seven on the D. Sorry, I'm getting my strings all mixed up today. Then you go back to 10 on the top three strings. So we have. This part's really cool. Um, I just play third fret on the low E string, then fifth fret on the D, fifth fret low E, fifth fret on the D again. They might go. 
where they're kind of more courting it. You could do either one. I just like the sound of those two notes ringing together. And just basically that chord. That, that's the main riff. Figured while I had this guitar already in hand and, and in drop D, uh, we would go through Shaken Hands, which is another one that is in drop D tuning. And uh, basically it starts out with this really cool kind of like groovy. You know, I, I love that riff. It's, it's a killer, killer riff. So we're gonna go like this. It's basically just three hammer on to five on the A string. Then you go to three on the D. Then it's five pull off three on the A. Okay, then you go three on the low E string to three on the D. Kind of a little tongue twister there. Now this part is just three pull up open on the low E string. Then open D string twice. I think they're just picking it all. I end up doing hybrid picking that just feels natural. Okay. Now what happens here is they go to, I should have switched pickups actually. That would have been way smarter. They basically do the same thing. And uh, they're up here, they're going 10, 12 power chords again. Then you go up to 15. So it goes 10, 12, 15, 12, 10. Third fret, down here, low E string, A and D. Then open low E string, so. so. Actually, I think I'm going 10, 12, 15, 12, 10, 12. I'm sorry. that one. Now, gotta get me some, as I believe, tuned to drop A sharp, which is essentially like a drop D style tuning, just really low. I believe they're using their baritones for this one. I just played it in drop D because I didn't want to tune a guitar that low, and because uh, I already had the baritone, baritone tuned for a different Nickelback song, and uh, I figured I would just keep this one in drop D. If you want to tune to the album, like I said, I believe it's, it's, it's A sharp drop D style. But um, it just starts out like, it's very groovy is why I like this one so much. It's, it's a simple riff, but it's it just got that groove and swing to it. So what's happening here exactly? So there's two opens, then you're hitting that third fret low E string power chord again. So yeah. The timing is the tricky part here. Then it's open low E string, then two more mutes, and then you go to 10 on the low E string. They have a really cool, it's like some kind of effect it sounds like on there. I like to do pinch harmonics. Now you go back down here. Open low E string and then palm mute it twice. Then one, two, three. Now there's this little riff here. So it's five, pull up three on the A string. Palm mute the low E string. Back to three. Now you're gonna play three on the low E string. Then three, hammer on five on the A. So. Just, ah, it's cool, I love it! Okay, so now for Hangnail. And uh, this one is off their first, well, second album, I should say, Silver Side Up. And it was, the, you know, this is one of the first songs I ever heard from Nickelback. And I was just like, dude, that guitar tone, it was just so low. I, you know, I was listening to most of like 80s rock stuff. So pretty much tuned to standard. And uh, this was just super low. I was like, that's so cool. 
And uh, what they're actually doing is your guitar is tuned to standard from the A string down. <laughs> The low E string is tuned to B. Now I've seen people like Zach Wilde do this, uh, Giovanna Massa does this in that uh, Dislocated Boy song, uh, Nickelback does it. Lots of people do this tuning, it's really cool. You still can do power chords and all that stuff. But anyway, so the main riff is the... Killer riff, all on just one string, and then they kind of go into this more chordy section here in a minute that I'll, I'll also break down. But so it starts out by going 12 on the low B string and then open. Just remember, this is tuned down to B. So then you go 9, 10 on the low E string, which is tuned to B, four times. Then you go up to 15, so. You go to 12 twice on the low E string. So you have 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10 again. Then you go 17, 15, 15. Then you go back to the 9, 10. Now here we have power chords. Play them like normal power chords, but they sound really cool and, and they're very different. So it's 5th fret, low E string, power chord, and then 7th fret on the A, 3rd fret, then 10, 9, 10, So for this part, you go 12 open on the low E string. Now you're gonna palm the low E string twice. Now you have this chord that is third fret on the low E string, fifth fret on the A, and then fourth fret on the D. So you go basically E, A, D, A when you're picking. Move it up two frets, so you're at five, seven, six. And do it again. Now for the final Nickelback song, and this is actually my favorite Nickelback riff and song uh, that they've ever done, and uh, it goes like this. Now for tuning, I'm using a baritone right now. Uh, I can't remember exactly how they tune it. Uh, th these are all the right notes, so it, it works. But basically a baritone, if you want to tune to the way I am and, and the way I'm going to tab it out, is you tune everything down three full steps. So I'm tuned like a standard tuned guitar, three steps lower. Um, the reason why a baritone has a big advantage here is it's a much longer scaling. Like, look at how long the neck is on this thing. A normal guitar has issues with this because the string, unless you have really heavy gauge strings, your strings are going to be really flubby. So this is why, one of the reasons why I wanted a baritone was to be able to do stuff like this, not just for Nickelback songs, but just, you know, lower tuned songs in general. So anyways, this is the main riff. And that's that part. So basically, we're playing the low E string, open twice, and you're going 15, pull off to open, and you pick it again, and you go to 12, open. Okay, so. Now this part here, the little fill, goes 10, 12 on the low E string, then 12 on the A, and then 12, 10, and then 12 on the A. Okay, so. Now you do that whole first part again. 
Now here's another fill. It's all pentatonic, is what's really cool. So we're just out of this E minor. <laughs> pentatonic scale. Now this fill goes 12, 14. I'm doing a ham run on the A string, the 12 on the D, 14, 12 on the A, and then 15 on the low E. Now the next part changes a little bit. It's open twice on the low E string. Then you play open again, hammer on 12, uh, 10, 12. Now this part goes 17, 15, open on the low. Then you go 17, 15, and then you play 17 again and bend it. So. No, but that, that's basically the riff, and it, it's very, very cool, so definitely check that one out. All right, homies, that is going to be it. Hope you enjoyed these. Like I said, if, you know, maybe you've never really give, given Nickelback a chance, but try them out, maybe learn some of the riffs or something like that and see what you think, because it's good stuff, you know? It, 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 it's good and fun to sit there and just learn some, some riffs. So other than that, get the tabs, fretboard decoder, all that good stuff, and I will be kicking it with you guys later. Peace out, homies. Keep on rocking. And I'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh wait, hold on. Guitar hot baritone high five, or is it a high six? Hmm. I see you guys commenting that high six. Later, guys. Bam. I did not mean to hit the camera. I'm so sorry.